What's up guys, Eric with Ferris Engineering, and today we are joined with Phil, who has a 2023 Mustang GT right behind me, performance pack. Uh, it currently has the Ford Performance catch can or air oil separator on the passenger side of the car, or the right hand, yeah, right hand side. Um, it doesn't have anything on the left hand, and Phil would like to see if our 350 AOS basically fits on his car. So we're gonna be doing the install today. Overall, I believe this is gonna be very similar to the 350 slash 350R install, but we're gonna film the whole thing because there are gonna be a few differentiations and I think it's primarily gonna be in that passenger side uh, area where we're gonna mount the AOS because there's some extra wires there. Let's get to it. So you may be asking, why do you want an air oil separator? Basically an air oil separator separates that oil vapor from the uh, engine that the engine is uh, producing. And that would otherwise go into your intake manifold and your intake, and that hurts engine performance. So what we're trying to do is we're gonna wick all that oil out, technically oil vapor, and we're gonna catch it in an air oil separator. Our unit features four desiccant filters, it features baffling, and it also features steel wool. So you're basically getting like triple the filtration and it does a pretty good job. All right, as far as kit components, we have some half inch hose, we have some five eighths hose, we have the air oil separator itself, we have the mounting bracket, and then we have hardware, which includes like some zip ties, some fittings and bolts and nuts. Uh, and some clamps to actually clamp the hose in place. All right, as far as tools required, monkey wrench, four millimeter Allen wrench, eight millimeter socket on a ratchet. We got some dikes, or side cuts, and we have scissors, or if you have hose cutting scissors, that would be even better, but I don't. So that's what I used. All right, so the air oil separator is going to mount right about here. Right now you can see we have some wires and stuff that's actually not on the 350, 350R units. So we're basically going to be figuring out how to move some of these wires and kind of tuck them over here. The mounting bracket bolts here and then right here, the, I believe they're, they're either seven or eight millimeter. I'll find out when we, we go to take it off. Um, but the mounting bracket bolts there and then kind of puts the air oil separator right here. Then we'll run the lines. Um, there's a point, there's a point. So this is the intake manifold side and then the other side's over there, which uh, I'll show you here shortly. And then this is the intake side right here. So it goes that hose to there. Um, I guess the first thing we'll do is we'll actually pull off all these hard lines and get that off. All right, so this is one of the hoses and to remove it, you're gonna grab this little tab. We're gonna pull that back. And if you look right there, you can see that that opens it and then you can pull it off. I will try to do this side on camera. And then I would assume that if you do not have the Ford Performance guy, which is right here, um, it would basically just be a hose that goes from here to there. So just take that hose off. We're gonna remove this Ford Performance guy real quick and then move on with the install. All right, and just like that, gone. We're going to now work on this. All right, so to basically do this, we're gonna pull this little black clip right here. It's in between the actual electrical connector and the fuse box cover, pull that, and then it's gonna go up. And then we're actually going to disconnect the two. By pulling the, the gray, I'm not sure if you probably can't see anything, but you're gonna pull the gray thing up like that, and then the two units come apart. like so. And then again, like the goal is to kind of get it over here. Um, I'm gonna do that on camera, but with no sound. All right, so a little close up action. We remove that ground cable, eight millimeter socket, that was there. 
we removed that ground cable under the strut bar, eight millimeter. And then we snaked this guy from under here, under there to come out over here, which will end up like maybe here. I don't know yet. We'll figure this out a little bit later. Next thing to do is remove that eight millimeter right there so that we can install the bracket. All right, so we removed the fuse cover. Obviously be careful. Remove um, the negative from the battery if you're worried about the positives that are right there. We have the bracket and it is installed right there. And you can see it, it's on top of the wire loom right there. That was really hot, sorry. Um, the overflow was really hot. And there's that other bracket. Now we're going to slip the AOS in here. We're gonna install those M6 button heads right there and the AOS will reside right there like so. Uh, I also, off camera, I zip tied the AC line to the fill guy um, just to get that a little bit out of the way and, uh, and that does a really nice job of doing so. All right, so we have the air oil separator installed with the three M6s right there. And now we are going to run the intake manifold side of the PCV system. That's going to run from here to the air oil separator and from here to the air oil separator. Now, first we're gonna have to actually remove this and I'm gonna re recommend a monkey wrench or as I like to refer to a fits them all. And there's like a heck, there's a square right here. We're gonna use um, the, the ears on the monkey wrench and we'll basically lefty loosey, righty tighty, we're gonna lefty loosey that off. And then I'll show you what to do with some of our supplied fittings, which are right here. All right, so we're gonna grab first this guy, the one with the round base, and we're gonna actually install this, keep the OEM O-ring on there. We're just gonna install that like so. All right, um, maybe you're stronger than me and you can do it without something. I don't know, it's pretty tight. And that is what it looks like when it's installed together. And this is going to basically kind of reside somewhere around here. Grab the hex side, install that O-ring as you see, and install that into the valve cover. Now the intake manifold side, we're actually gonna use this side of the air oil separator, the front side, and we're gonna grab a half inch hose and we're gonna cut it to size to go right here and then we'll run that line right there. Right, and then for this side, we're gonna run 7 8 hose to a half inch hose there. All right, I'm not sure if you can see what I did there. And ultimately you can route your hoses however you'd like, but this is how we're doing it on ours. So from the valve cover, we're going right by the oil engine fill, and then we're gonna go right there to our adapter piece, to the PCV valve, which then goes to the intake manifold there. So that's how we're doing that. And then I'm gonna run these real quick off of camera because they take a little bit more time, but basically these two are gonna be half inch hose to, they're gonna swap to seven eighths and then go to the factory hose barbs over there. So we've now ran the intake side. We chose to do it this way because I spoke with Phil and Phil is going to be running the engine cover, which is not pictured here. But on the 350, we use this stud right here and we use this stud right here to use the supplied hose clamps. These guys, which are nice. If you want to use them, by all means, go ahead and use them. But because I know that the engine cover is going back on this and I don't know exactly how it mounts and how close we can get the hoses, I decided to run the hoses like this. So they go both right here, they go under this little airline 
kind of by the fuel fuel uh, lines as well. And then one side goes up and around to the valve cover. The other side goes up and around to the intake. And these right here are the 5 8 to half inch reducers. So that's where they go right there. We're gonna throw some zip ties on some pieces here and then the install is basically wrapped up. All right, so what I ended up doing was I threw a zip tie on the, all the 7 8 connections. They seemed a tad loose. The worst one was the intake, but it might be because it's an aftermarket intake. Um, these, this location, that location, all felt like they were pretty well connected with the 7 8 hose, but I threw a zip tie on it anyways, which we provide plenty of zip ties with the kit. I will go over this electrical connector, but I'm really happy with where I zip tied the electrical connector as well. And ultimately I, I then put the, the electrical wires back in that we removed, which were just this like guy right here, the grounds and, and wrapped up the car. Um, at this point, the, the install is basically done. So on the intake, we got a little zip tie. It kind of helps shore up this, this connection. Same thing here. And then uh, over here, this is how I ended up doing the electrical connector. So I know you can't see it, but it's actually zip tied with two zip ties and it's to the connector body because I'd rather do the connector body than the wires. Um, and then it's actually going to the factory and our air oil separator bracket. So that's where that's going right there. It wraps it around and it actually gets it. Let me see if I can, if I can wiggle it and get my hand down in there, but it gives it a little bit of movement, but like it's not moving anywhere else. So that's pretty awesome. I like how that turned out. Air oil separator with everything on it. There we go. All right, guys, that concludes the install on the Ford GT Mustang AOS system. These are already released technically because we already released 350, but now we confirmed that it fits with the Mustang GT. There's a little few differences, but overall, the install is fairly similar. Big thanks to Phil for bringing in his Mustang GT and letting us test fit this on his car. Until next time, I'm out.